Guys, welcome back to Crypto Zeus. The crypto journey continues. I hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we have a really important update about the crypto market. We're going to talk about USDT. We're going to be talking about Terra. What's happened to Terra? We're going to be talking about other things you guys need to be aware of in the market today. So if you guys like these important updates, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below. What are you guys doing in the market right now? Are you guys buying some more bargains in the crypto space? Are you long term? Or have you moved back to cash? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, this is not financial advice, but I hope you guys are enjoying the journey so far. And uh, one thing I want to point your attention to, and I do think it's important. I did put out some notifications on Telegram earlier today when I saw this because I did think it uh, was an important thing to know about. If you're interested in the Telegram announcements for free, you can sign up to that. But there's been some funny things happen with USDT. So right here, I've got the USDC slash USDT pair and USDT. If you guys who do not know what it is, it's this coin here. So it's number three on the charts. It's a massive stable coin, but on the exchanges right now, I'm going to go through a couple of different exchanges. There's a huge amount of volatility to do with the price of this coin. So this coin should be trading at roughly $1. Over on Qcoin, uh, if you can see it on the chart right here, it actually dropped down to 83 cents. Uh, over, on, over on OKX, it actually dropped as well. And uh, over on Binance, it's kind of going back Back to one dollar but this is just important to be aware of because yesterday you guys know we've been following the journey of uh, Terra and uh, what happened there with their stable coin and uh, Terra coin it collapsed to 57 cents um, and the actual Terra coin itself this one's down at 18 cents right now and this used to be trading at around uh, you know 100 plus dollars so a massive loss on the market right now so what are some practical steps i'm doing in the crypto market right now just with this volatility we're seeing live on the charts right now this volatility i'm not a fan of uh, what's happening with usdt right now so one thing you can do is uh, if you are on centralized exchanges you can move to other stable coins so right now there is a uh, usdc usdc is a better backed stable coin that one right there and so is busd so those ones right there there are better stable coins and you can see they're actually trading at premiums right now so busd is at one dollar and seven cents and uh, you can see it start to moon on the price chart so you would never expect this one to go up in price but guess what it is trading at a premium right now and you can actually see right here on the binance charts busd actually went up to a dollar and ten worth of usdt so some crazy stuff is happening and uh, so just as some practical things you know what am i doing in the crypto space so i'm looking to exit out of positions of uh, USDT personally uh, because it is risky so I don't want to be um, taking on extra risk in the crypto space where I can so I'm actually going to exit out of USDT uh, in situations where I can so I'm actually staking some USDT right now on crypto exchanges to get some of that passive income but I'm starting to see some alarm bells happening with that USDT right now but let's hope this whole thing settles down so we don't want we definitely do not want USDT to implode right now that would not be good for the crypto market uh, so if USDT goes down, that would be uh, definitely more fight on the market that we don't need. And that's just some stuff you need to be aware of today. So guys, just watch out for what happens to USDT right there. And uh, what else is important? We have inflation data coming out of the USA. So inflation barreled ahead at 8.3% 8, 8 in April from a year ago, remaining at 40 year highs. So right now, there is just a ton of uh, FUD in the world economy. It's quite unfortunate, but there's just a ton of FUD everywhere. Um, but I'm staying bullish on crypto, staying bullish on Bitcoin. Bitcoin, staying bullish on uh, some exciting crypto projects out there. So I'm not too worried in the long run. And uh, it's just the world we're living in right now. And uh, if we do take a look at the crypto prices today, and we bring up the crypto bubbles chart for today, another down day in the market, unfortunately. Uh, but hey, there could be some good bargains in here and uh, just a lot of red, so down a lot. And if we jump over to Bitcoin's price, this is going to tell us the story right here. So you guys can see right here, you know, there was a battle around uh, the $30,000 level. So you guys can see right here on the chart, it was battling around this $30,000 level, kind of maintaining that. And then yesterday, it kind of, uh, you know, gave way to some degree. So you can see it go from around $30,000 and it dropped all the way down to $26,000 at its low. It's kind of boosted back up to $27,000 thousand dollars and uh, what's the why is this happening and it just has to do with the overall amount of fight on the market so we've had the big collapse 
of uh, UST on the market. So Terra, some funny things are happening with that USDT right now. So just watch out for that as well. And uh, hopefully, you know, the crypto market can rebound. I'm still staying bullish in the crypto space and I'm sure there's lots of gems out there in the crypto space. And what advice does CZ of Binance have for us today? And he says right here, he says, at the end of the day, we need to go back to fundamentals, build real products, not reliant on short-term incentives or promotions, but with intrinsic value that people use. So I do agree with that to a lot of degrees. So again, those cryptos that can build out some really good utility, really good use case, I think they do have nice potential. Community is also super important in the crypto space. So cryptos with strong communities, even with low use cases, can still have a lot of value. So again, Dogecoin sitting around $10 billion. You got some other really good community coins out there like Shiba Inu and uh, ApeCoin and others like that. But that is just an important update. And I think in the long run, you know, crypto will succeed. It's just a matter of time, even though today is a little bit rocky. But guys, I just wanted to bring that to your attention today. So some very important things to watch out for a video coming out early today. Thank you guys for tuning into the channel. If you guys like Crypto Zeus, you guys can follow me over on Twitter. You can sign up to the Telegram announcement channel for free. And if you want, you can also join up to the Patreon. So shout out to the Patreon members as well, chatting away in the Discord. But thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.